Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make smooth camera movements in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And first of all, let's create new solid layer for background. Let's create new solid and add name background, click OK. Go to FX Presets, search FX Gradient Ramp. Select gradient ramp, let's use for background solid layer and change start color like this and white color change dark blue. Click OK and go to ramp shape, change radial ramp and select point, move it down and for remove this scatter, change 100 ramp scatter. Okay. So let's go to here, change color a little bit like this and start color, chain like this, click OK and lock layer, create new solid layer again, add name grid and click OK, go to FS Presses, search effect grid, use for grid layer and change opacity. OK, go to size form, change width slider, change slider like this. OK, and go to FX Press again, search FX Lens and select CC Lens, use for grid and change size. OK, very nice. So let's lock layer and go to project. Let's open image folder. We have five image. Let's select all images and drag and drop into the conversation. So I will use these simple images and First, let's select all of them layers. Click this icon for solid layer. Also, let's create new camera tool and don't change any settings. Click OK. So, let's go to view and change view to top. OK, select all layers, press P and select first layer 5 and move to back. OK, select layer 4, move to back also and layer 3, move to back and layer 2, move to back here and back to active camera view and select layer 5, let's move to back here layer 4, move to right and layer 3, move to here and layer 2, move to up like this so, select layer 1, press P and move to front like this. Select camera, let's right mouse and go to camera, create orbit null for create camera movements. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pan behind icon. Clicization tool, select null, press P and let's move to back. Okay, let's create new passing keyframe. Go to two seconds and zoom to first image and go to 4 second let's move to left or right and zoom to next image layer so select this layer 2 press P and move to back a little bit for see full size and select null, select less keyframe let's move to like this Okay, so let's preview animation. Okay, so in this time, select keyframes, right mouse, keyframe extent, and easy or click F9. Let's preview animation. Okay, smooth, but we have problem with middle keyframe for stopping camera animation. Let's select keyframes, go to graph editor, select middle keyframe. Move to left and this move to right. Preview again. Okay, again our camera is stopping. Let's fix it. Select middle keyframe, right mouse, go to keyframe velocity and click this checkbox. Click OK. Let's see. Okay, that's good. It's continue and select keyframe. Let's move to up for continue this animation with middle keyframe. Let's see. Very nice. 
I like it. So, select two frames. Let's make graph like this. And let's right mouse two frame velocity. We can change speed here. Let's change 150. Okay, select two frame. Move to left. Back to two frames. And select three two frames. Hold Alt, move to left for more speed animation. Nice, and go to 5 seconds. And let's change camera view to next image. Like this. Okay, let's preview animation. Select two frames again, go to graph editor and select this two frame, change graph like this and right mouse two frame velocity again, click this continue icon and change speed 100, click OK. Nice, I like it. And we can select new object and go to this icon. And we can select here Convert Vertex Tool and we can change this line more smoothly. Let's select Work Area. Okay, this is more dynamic. So, let's select 5 seconds, press N and back to two frames. Go to FS Presses, search Effect Wiggle. Select Wiggle Position, use for Image 1 and change amount 25 and use wiggle position for image 2 again wiggle amount 25 and use for 3 again wiggle position for layer 4 and let's one layer 5 chain 25 let's see okay this is more dynamic with wiggle expression so, let's go to back and search effect glow. Select glow used for first image. And let's see. Change glow settings. Okay, change like this. And copy glow. Select other image layers. Control V. And close settings. Let's see. For fast preview, change quality quarter. Nice, very good. And let's go to first second, select this camera, let's open inside camera options and default field, let's click for turn on. And let's see. Okay, we can change aperture like this and focus distance change quality full and for now let's turn off glow effects in images let's see okay let's zoom in here change distance for see full quality and let's click focus distance chi frame and go to back and change distance like this. Okay, let's see. Nice. And select two frames, make it easy. And next, go to here. Again, change distance like this. Okay, very nice. And next image, again, change distance. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Good luck.